guys and welcome to a new crypto video of the most beautiful music instrument there is the crypto violin guys i hope you have an amazing day i am back with some amazing content for you i hope you're ready before we dive into the juicy and bullish content i want to kindly remind you to subscribe to my beautiful crypto violin channel we're at 11.2k subscribers guys i want to take a moment to tell you all how blessed i feel to be able to make those videos and to share my knowledge and information with you guys and all my listeners, all my followers, I feel grateful that I'm here and that I can share everything I know with you. So I want to take a moment to thank you all for listening to my videos and I want to wish you a beautiful, bullish and juicy day. I hope this will be an amazing day for you and this content will make your day guys because we are the future 1%. I am very proud of all of you, okay, for investing very early you guys are the future one percent you know this right good that being said let's dive into the juicy bullish content i have for you today so first of all i can imagine that you were shocked okay you were shocked about my thumbnail and about my title of the video because there is another class action lawsuit against ripple Wow, guys, okay, let's read it. This is an article from the Cointelegraph.com. Florida class action lawsuit alleged Ripple violated security laws. Already facing a suit from the US SEC, Ripple is now accused of violating security laws in Florida. Ripple Labs, the company behind the Ripple payment protocol and XRP based product, is facing another lawsuit alleging the firm violated security laws in the United States. On Monday, Florida-based XRP investor Tyler Toomey filed a civil suit against Ripple Labs and, and Ripple CEO Brad Gardinghouse. The lawsuit alleged that the defendant failed to comply with Florida securities law by failing to register with the Florida Office of Financial Regulation. Tommy notes that Ripple Labs and Gardinghouse are already facing a similar lawsuit for reportedly violating federal security laws. The $1.35 billion suit was brought by the US Security and Exchange Commission on December 22nd, 2020. Okay guys, uh, let's read the last part. Pursuant to federal rules of civil procedure, Toomey has requested a trial by jury for any of all issues brought in the action. Shortly after SEC brought their action against Ripple in late 2020, a wide number of crypto companies including Coinbase and Binance US delisted XRP from their platforms. Massive delisting apparently affected the XRP market. With Polkadot's dot overtaking XRP in terms of market capitalization on January 15. Okay guys, okay, I know everybody is scared. Look at this article, look at this photo. Guys, you know what? You know what I will do? I will spit on this article. I will spit on this article because the coin telegraph is writing BS, okay? BS. Let's review the truth of this article and the XRP investor Tyler to me okay let's go here it is guys it can be found in another website where they have honest articles okay beingcrypto.com posted the following ripple xrp faces class action lawsuit from investor that just lost 48 dollars boo boo you lost 48 dollars what is this a joke is this a type error no it is real guys Ripple Labs is facing another lawsuit alleging the illegal sale of securities. The class action lawsuit was filed by Florida-based investor that lost just $48 following the XRP price plunge. What? Yes, you hear it right. Another day, another lawsuit. Florida resident Tyler Toomey filed a class action lawsuit against Ripple Labs and CEO Brad Garlinghouse in a US district court in the Middle District of Florida. In the suit, Toomey alleges both Ripple Labs and Garlinghouse sold Florida residents in violation of the state's security laws. Toomey invested just under $100 in XRP in November last year, paying 72 cents a coin. When news of another lawsuit against Ripple Labs broke, XRP lost 60% of its value. Toomey sold his investment for a 50% loss, roughly $48. What? Guys, this is the truth. Can you imagine? Please, if this guy is listening to this, please send me your wallet name and I will send you 48 bucks and stop being a little Okay? 
I hope I made it clear guys. What is this nonsense? And why is Cointelegraph fueling this nonsense with articles? Because they want to scare us. That's it. They want to scare us. Because you know what is actually happening guys? The following is actually happening and I want to share it with you. CryptoNewsLash.com posted this article. Ripple CEO reveals huge growth despite SEC lawsuit and focus on CBDCs for 2021. RippleNet saw five times the volume of 2019 in 2020, while on-demand liquidity, ODL, experienced a 12 times growth. Garling House confirmed the continued strong support for Ripple from customers and revealed the focus on central bank digital currencies for 2021. SEO Brad Garlinghouse stated in a series of tweets and a new blog post, 2020 was a challenging, at times chaotic and stressful year for Ripple. Nevertheless, it was also a milestone year. Last year, for example, Ripple processed nearly 3 million transactions on RippleNet, five times the volume in 2019. On-demand liquidity, as the XRP-based sub-solution of RippleNet, saw even stronger demand and experienced a 12x year-over-year -year growth with 2020 transactions reaching a notional value of around $2.4 billion. Furthermore, the Ripple team closed an average of two new customer deals a week in more than 40 countries around the world, with 18 being new to RippleNet. Wow, that's amazing, guys. That's amazing. That's the part that they don't want us to hear, guys, okay? They are just scaring us as investors, okay? We, it's one big shakeout. Just realize this. Let's read the last part, guys. Garling House Outlook for Ripple in 2021. Looking ahead, Ripple CEO said the company will continue to drive new innovations in crypto and payments interoperability. One focus will be on central bank digital currencies. Key to this will be our ongoing work with central banks and developing protocols that support the direct exchange of CBDCs on XRP Ledger using XRP as a bridge currency. Oh my god. So, they are actually making central bank digital currencies on the XRP Ledger and using XRP as a bridge currency. Wake up! Please, please, I, I get frustrated. Sorry that I shout, okay? I will, uh, my wife will be very angry. I'm very sorry. Um, so, uh, but, but I, I need you to wake up, guys. I need you to wake up. This is what, this is a big shake out. They want to scare us. Please realize this. I'm shaking. Please realize this. Are you the crazy guy that will sell XRP at 25 cents? Are you the one? Please sell XRP. If you want to sell XRP, please sell XRP, but sell it at 60 cents, 70 cents. Sell it after it got a buy signal, it mooned, and just sell it, okay? But don't sell it at 25 cents. Even if you don't believe in the project, why sell at 25 cents? 25 cents are buying levels, okay? Let's look at the XRP price, guys. Let's look at it. We got an early buy one signal. The last time we got a buy one signal, guys, we rose 203 percent guys okay so we have to wait for another confirmation should i count the bullishness for you okay first of all we got a buy one signal second of all we crashed very hard and we found support at we found support at 17 cents and we broke above the 24 cents so we broke above the 24 cents of resistance and we found comfortably support at 24 cents resistance so we tested it we tested it actually one two three four five and today six times we found comfortable support at 24 cents so we found support we got a buy signal why would you sell okay this is a huge buying opportunity for you and guys you know what the KIN token was also sued by the SEC. And you know what they did? KIK needed to pay a fine of $5 million. That was it. It sold, it sold a lot of... They just needed to pay a fine of $5 million, okay? And you know what happened afterwards? The price of KIN skyrocketed to 1800%, okay? 1800%. 
let me show what an 1800% increase for the XRP price would mean. 1800% would mean all time highs, would mean XRP trading at almost $5, okay? And you know what will happen if the SEC and Ripple settle all those big institutions, all those big exchanges, they need to buy XRP back into their portfolio for their customers. So there will be much more demand for XRP than for a, than for a random kin token. Okay, so the price of XRP will skyrocket, guys. Five dollars if it repeats what Kin Token did, guys. Ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, easily. I hope you liked the video I provided for you today. I hope it opened your eyes. Don't be the guy that gets scared of some ordinary Joe filing a lawsuit because he lost thirty dollars, forty dollars, and then Coin Telegraph scaring everybody. Don't be that guy, okay? I hope to see you in the next bullish and juicy video. Please subscribe to my beautiful crypto violin channel and thank you all from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos. I hope you have an amazing day and see you in the next juicy and bullish video. Have a great day. Bye.